Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course to learn how to design gravity steel columns in the RAM Structural System RAM Steel Column Design Module. Over the next series of videos, you will learn how to design gravity steel columns, which will include the process for entering the gravity column design criteria, customize the trial group defaults, and then we will show you how to design the gravity steel columns and review the results. In this video, you will learn how to specify your trial group defaults in the RAM steel column design module. Trial groups are predefined lists of sizes for which the optimized size for each gravity column is chosen. Trial group defaults can be set up for standard and hanging columns of each section type. Up to three trial groups can be designed to each column and the results of each trial group will be available after the design is performed. By default, the lowest weight column will be selected as the optimized size for each gravity column considering the results of each trial group. To specify your trial group defaults in the RAM steel column design module, we will go up to our criteria menu and select trial group defaults. Here I can see the defaults of each trial group that are assigned to our standard columns and our hanging columns and there's a line item available for each section type that can be assigned to those types of columns. For this particular model, our model contains some standard columns and we used I sections and also rectangular HS sections and we'll customize these trial groups as needed for our design or architectural restrictions. For our I sections, we are going to allow W12s, W10s, and W8s. So when RAM steel column designs each I section column, it will report the optimum W12 size, the optimum W10 size, and also the optimum W8 size. Then reviewing those results from the three trial groups, it will select the trial group or the optimized size that is the lowest weight considering the three results. We will also specify our rectangular HSS sections and we will allow an HSS 12 by 12, a 10 by 10, and then also an 8 by 8. This model also does contain some hanging columns and those are I section columns. And again, we're going to allow a W12, a W10, and a W8. After customizing all of your trial group defaults, we will go ahead and click OK. Now the trial group defaults that are accessed through the criteria menu will globally apply to all of the columns in the model. You do have the option to specify or assign specific trial groups based on a column by column basis, which can be done through the assign menu. So if you access the assigned trial groups, this would be if you wanted to override those defaults that we just set up. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.